Hi guys, welcome back to our TV. Yesterday I reported that veteran musician Idris Abdul Karim and Baba Frayo organized a protest against um, not directly against Pastor Adeboye, RCCG. They actually went to the church and um, they made sure that the pastor um, and the members and um, the junior and um, middle pastors, Daddy Gio, Mommy Gio's, um, are all aware about what is going on in Nigeria as regards um, Ruga and Leah Sharibu. And um, they said um, Pastor Adeboye is not speaking up about the current happenings in the country um the protest was staged in front of rccg main gate along lagos ibadon expressway um and you find the likes of um you know this man here charlie boy aka area father was also part of the protest with you know with a lot of nigerians were there i mean a lot of people came out and mass to protest um this is um baba frayo also he also came out um and um afterwards um this apostle johnson suleiman omega fire ministry senior pastor senior prophet senior apostle of omega power um, power, um fire ministry um decided to go on the street and he said Papa Adeboye said the government should hasten the release of Lear and all in captivity. I was there. He told us not to take laws into our hands and pray for Nigeria. And you say he is not speaking. Wait till you are that age so you know. So you show us how else an elder should speak. I posted that video. Um, just go to that video and see what actually happened um, there. And um, people are not buying this. Like I said, I said things are changing. Nigeria is no longer a conservative society where you tell um, your, the members of your church, you just tell them anything and they believe in it. Things are changing. I mean, things are changing. Like I used to say, I said, back in those days, we had um, the likes of Charlie Boy with all the... All, all he could do was to pierce all um, some part of his body. That was the... That just the height of... Would I use the word um, Western culture and bringing of Western culture? Uh, that's just the height of it. But now we have the likes of cross dressers, we have cross dressers, the likes of um Bobriski and some other dudes there. In fact, not just in Nigeria, um, even in Ghana. So we have the likes of all these uh, who groups of people all over the place, and now they are not even afraid, they, they get invited to um parties home and abroad. That should tell you that Nigeria is no longer a conservative society where you just feed people with um, um, thus says the Lord when God is not even speaking and um, you say you are the mouthpiece of God and whatever you speak is still the same thing as that uh, as what God has said so things are changing even politicians just imagine the politician um, um, the senator that um, harassed the woman abused the woman and um, the video recordings of this the CCTV recordings of this were brought out do you see what happened he had to go out there to cry and apologize and people say no you must go to court you must go you must face the law this would never have happened in nigeria before you would have well you probably um godfather might have said enough which police is that any police that want to act on this case they might just get a guy out of job they will tell him do you want to lose your job i'll take off your uniform things are no longer the same things are beginning to i mean nigerians are beginning to see what poverty looks like before it's like they 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 are not they are actually seeing it from afar but people are beginning to see what poverty looks like they are beginning to feel what um the the cattle expert the banditry and everything they begin to see that you might just die without even having to without enjoying anything in, in this life or because you were unlucky to be probably um probably you, you were lucky that you're unlucky that your parents give back to you in nigeria so people are actually acting um, differently now and um, I think exposure and embracing of uh, other um, um, or embracing of of other cultures or people just decided to come out of this their uh, conservative lifestyle that has made them um, kept them in the position people yes people, a lot of people have been disenfranchised people have been brainwashed 
and people are some people are suffering from a kind of syndrome where your you just you embrace your oppressor you hold tight onto them and you even ask them to oppress you a lot of people are actually getting out of this too so like i said things are changing um may i remind you to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell so you'll be notified whenever videos are uploaded now idris abdukari responded to apostle johnson Suleiman um because apostle johnson Suleiman said something i want you to watch that video that i uploaded apostle johnson Suleiman up, um, um protest um said something on his twitter handle that i found um not um acceptable and he felt people would keep quiet he felt probably is the same otobo um saga and that happened back in those days and then um, and the lady came back to say um oh, my i'm sorry people pushed me and all of that and he felt good and um he and that's just it he went online to say something that i don't f that i'm not i don't think that's acceptable i um, mean actually threatened go to that video and watch it watch the video and see what he said now apostle um johnson Suleiman, after writing all what he could write of course it's also human like i said they are not supernatural they are human doesn't matter what he does in his church either real or fake authentic or not authentic um whatever thing he has done in his life that's not um my, my business now um but um idris abdukari reacted to what he said and he asked questions now i'm going to show you um what it was up karim right and before then um let me show you a few of the um placards that people brought down there here someone writes adeboye you did not visit agatu or southern kaduna you did not visit enugu but you flew private jets to london to show solidarity with buari now buari is good to go and visit and pray for right that's what people are saying and um another person said adiboye you collect tithes and offerings from every nook and cranny yes rccg is just everywhere in nigeria i mean it there in, in fact you might even find five rccg just on one street that is not up to um two kilometers rccg is everywhere in fact there are, sometimes you find two rccg in the same complex one at the top you might hear you they might write they might caption the rivers of water then the one downstairs is a uh, uh, anointing breaks the yoke so um, you, you know what i mean i'm not saying that uh, there's anything wrong with having churches as they choose that is what they want and you might be a member of that church probably it's easier for you to walk get um come out of your house and just walk into the church um that's okay that's a topic for another day so you summarize at the way you collect tithes and offering offerings from every nook and cranny of nigeria but you keep quiet while the people you collect tithes from get killed obey matthew 23 23 now if you agree to this drop your comment in the section below and if you don't agree tell us why you are not going to agree to what this young man has just um, um what, what is written right here and also this that adeboye visited buari he flew private jet to visit buari in london to show solidarity when he had issues with his health but he did not even visit agatu or even probably spoke loudly about it neither did he visit south and kaduna now let me go forward um here is what um um abdul karim idris abdul karim this is what he wrote on his um facebook handle and um kelly handsome liked it and some other people here he writes dear apostle suleiman are you aware that leah sharibu has been under captivity for 501 days 501 days yes now before i go further um Ab Ab apostle johnson i heard through um via omokri's um twitter handle that um he raised money probably for the family of um leah sharibu all right so let me go on let me ask you why you did not pray to god when stephanie otobo accused you instead you went to the police why did you speak up against her and now ask us to be silent while our people get killed daily now we don't know if he prayed in um, probably in his room but here here people ask uh, what abdul karim is saying is very clear to you all right let me go further he said i remember padiboye praying for buari why did he not also refuse to pray for him then what is this hypocrisy that we like to the embrace for nigeria all i'm saying is this keep praying but also speak up 
it costs all of you nothing the bible says faith without works is dead i am not a pastor yes i know this if you as a man of god cannot join me to condemn the atrocities that are currently going on if you as a man of god cannot condemn with your mouth i know talk say make you carry gun or make you fight then the god that you serve and the one that hates injustice are not the god that you serve and the one that hates injustice are not the same now me idris abdul karim tokam peace and love always so what do you guys think about this um what um idris abdul karim do you um support what idris abdul karim is saying or you support what um uh, um adeboye um the, uh, what um um sulaiman claimed that um adeboye said whatever which of them that you support let's meet in the comment section below and if you have a solution to all these challenges or you think there are better approaches how do you think um in, in what manner do you think um, um churches clerics in what manner do you think they can actually um be more um, productive in the way in their approach as regards what is happening in nigeria don't forget that a uh, let me remind you that a prophet an apostle a pastor they have the authority since people see them as spiritual father and spiritual mother if your prophet advice um probably prophesied to you or advised you and said do not go to your village and you did not go that's a kind of mind um what would i say i won't want to use the word brainwashing you've not been brainwashed probably he advised you and you realize that um, probably there is danger ahead uh, ahead and you did not go um to your village or travel wherever you or you said don't do this or don't marry this other person and you realize later whatever it is that means that that pro um, pastor apostle prophet imam if he climbs the same stage if he mounts the same uh, pulpit, uh, pulpit and says thus says the lord vote for blue vote for green that's what's going to happen it means these people have a lot of you know influence as regards um um how they control the minds of people or whatever they say they might say, okay the other time all of them prophesied in a way um that buari should not be voted for unfortunately buari said he's not going anywhere and um he's still there so they found a way to prophesy in a way some were more loud with their prophecies more direct why some found a way to be a bit you know kind of um, not so direct with their prophecies but whatever it is we know the um influence that these clerics or spiritual leaders have so let's meet in the comment section while you are at that may i remind you to kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below so you will be notified whenever videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by